Continuing on with our investigation of strings, the final basic operation that we can perform is what is referred to as slicing. And the slice operator is similar to the indexing operator, but it allows us to get more than one character. Remember that indexing allows us to access a single character out of a string. Slicing is going to allow us to access zero or more characters as a substring. And so let's start off with the same example once again. We'll create a variable which is initialized to the string DAVID. And again, uh, if we evaluate that variable, we get the string that is referenced by the identifier my name. And as we saw last time, this particular string, which I'll simply draw here as a string, has two ways of position counting. We can go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 from left to right, or we can say position negative 1, position negative 2, position negative 3, position negative 4, and position negative 5 if we go from right to left. So the indexing operator, remember, use the square brackets with a single value inside my name indexed by uh, negative 4 will return the character little a and my name indexed by 1 will also return that same little a two different position values for the same character basically the second character from the left uh, in the string now the slicing operator will use the same notation that is it will use the square brackets but instead of having a single value inside the brackets, we'll actually put two values. And those two values will be the starting point and, in a sense, the ending point for the slice or for the substring that we want to take out of the string. And so, for example, if we say my name sliced starting at position 1 and going up to position 4, what we'll see is that the result is the substring AVI. Now let's explain what's happened here. What we said was that we wanted to start at position 1 and go up to position 4. But the slice that we retrieved started at the A, which is a position 1, and included the I, which was at position 3. But remember that in Python, Whenever you talk about a range of positions, you can start with the initial position, but the upper bound position is never included. And so remember in the range function, if we say range 1, 10, we get the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but the upper bound of 10 is not included. The same thing happens in the slice operator. We provide the starting point of the slice, but the ending point of the slice is one beyond the actual ending point of the substring. So you could think about it this way. My name sliced from 1 to 4 says to take the substring starting at 1 up to but not including position 4. And so starting at 1 up to but not including position 4 gives me the AVI substring. So now, once we understand that there is this sort of range effect within the slice operator, we can now take a look at what happens when we do something like, I want the slice from position 1 to position 1. Well, now, if you think about what that means, starting at 1 and going up to but not including 1, well, that means you're basically not taking any positions, and so the result is the empty string. Now, if we want to be sure that that's the empty string, we can ask what is the len of my name sliced from 1 to 1? And what we'll discover is that the length is 0 because there are no characters in that range. If we want to select the entire string itself by using the slice, we can say I want to slice starting at position 0 and going up to but not including position 5. Now, remember that there really is no position 5, but because I want to go from 0 up to 4, 
by providing 5 as an upper bound, that allows me to access the entire string. Likewise, I can go ahead and think about using the slice operator from uh, the reverse position as well. I can say I would like to slice from my name going from negative 4 up to but not including negative 2. And thinking about the position then, I'm saying starting at negative 4, which is the A, up to but not including negative 2, which is the I, so I'm going to get the A and the V in that substring. So the slice operator is very useful to be able to return zero or more of the characters with any starting point and any ending point. The indexing operator only allows me to return a single character from the string. A couple of special features of the slice operator, if I choose to not include the ending point. So if I say I would like to slice my name starting at position 1, but I don't include an ending point, colon with no upper bound, basically that says go all the way through to the end of the string. So from position 1 to the end of the string, and so you can see I get A, V, I, D. Likewise, I can do the same thing by not including the starting point, and only including the ending point. If I do that, the default is to begin at the start of the string. So if I go from the beginning of the string up to, but not including position 3, then I get capital DAV, so it starts at position 0 by default. I can combine those two ideas together and actually go from the beginning up to the end by default, and in a sense, what that does is it returns back to me a copy of the original string that I started with. And so the slice operator and the index operator are very useful to me to be able to grab parts or pieces of the string, but I have to be very careful to make sure I understand whether I want a single character always, or whether I want to use the slice operator to be able to return a substring. But remember that a substring could in fact be a single character. It could also be the empty string.